Hello everyone, welcome to the story behind the photo. I'm your host, Melissa New, and we're with Dave Black. Welcome back, Dave. Thanks for having me back, Melissa. Yes. Yeah, glad to be here. So, we both have had a lot of sleep, so <laughs> there's been there's been so much emotion and ups and downs in here, so I'm excited to see what you're going to bring to the table, Dave. Okay. So, we're, we're just talking about, you know, a photo that means something to you, or maybe a, a fun story behind a photo that you've taken. Sure, sure. Well... Boy, I'll probably stick on the sports side of things. Sure. Yeah, because that was sort of the main staple for me. Okay. And, um, you know, the one that really comes to mind is just, just a real personal favorite. Um, it was uh, Kevin Barnett, and it was at the World Volleyball Championships. I think it was about 2001, I think it was. 2001. I'm, a, I'm a volleyball player. You're, you're a volleyball player, yes. You're very tall and, and lean, <laughs> so volleyball will be right up your alley, yeah. I'm sure. And, uh, it, uh, it was a job for Sports Illustrated, and Jimmy Colton, the photo editor at the time, uh, called and said, we want to do a leading off, which is the two-page spread at the beginning of the magazine. Yeah. And he said, we'd like to uh, do a two-page uh, spread on that. And he said, you got any ideas? And I said, boy, instantly. You know, this is like a month away from the competition. And already in my mind, I had pictured the international volleyball court, which is sort of a salmon and teal color, yeah. which is very pretty. And I thought, well, what if we used a remote camera, put it up in the catwalks, and looked straight down on the court and sort of geared it around uh, Kevin Barnett, who's the captain of the U.S. team. And it was going into, uh, you know, coming off the, a good Olympic performance by them in, in 2000. And just felt like that the court would become the background. That would be the backdrop in this beautiful color. And Kevin has this fantastic form when he does his serve. I mean, he looks like oh, a, yeah. he looks like Thor, you know, he's got one arm out and the other arm, he looks like he should have a lightning bolt in his hand oh, throwing it. He's incredible. And he's just a great athlete, good looking guy too, real handsome. Yeah. And I thought, so we, we geared everything around that. Yeah. Um, this picture appeared uh, in SI. It was their first ever digital leading off. Wow. So it was something that sort of started them on a course uh, a, into the digital revolution. Now you have to understand that while newspapers and wire services had already kind of gone into digital around 1997, 98, mm -hmm. magazines and high quality magazines weren't into it yet. And so this was a big step for them. Uh, it was lit with strobes. We used four strobes. We used them on, uh, there were two sets of catwalks and we actually had them on the lower set of catwalks, which through the shadow, Kevin's shadow, uh, isn't visible in the picture, not because it's cropped. This is actually the full frame shot, just the way it was made in the camera. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the shadows are thrown off to the side. Mm -hmm. They have all this beautiful color. And here's a beautiful action shot of him in midair, just ready to do the serve. And uh, I think it was titled Serves Up, <laughs> actually, oh, that's great. which was kind of fun. The special part about it, and the thing that makes it more personally attached to me, is I think my favorite picture of all time uh, that I've done is that it's the winning serve, the winning shot the final match that wins them the world championship. So anytime you can get all these elements come together, you have the key moment of the game, which this is the key moment of the game. It's shot on strobe, so it's like perfect, beautiful quality. You have it from an unusual, unique angle from above, looking straight down on him while he serves. Not only that, but he's a good looking guy and he has this perfect form of what a serve should look like. He just does. Everything comes together into one picture very complicated to get everything set up, but I had already pictured it in my mind exactly the way it came out. Is how I pictured it a month before. Wow. I just felt like this would be, I mean, I have scarcely looked at another picture from that championships yeah. because it all revolved around this one shot. Oh. And they ran it, of course, as a two-page spread. And it turned the corner for SI thinking, if we can publish a two-page spread and it's digital like this, we are now you know, all in. We're in Vegas right now, so it's like we're all in. Uh, for digital, and it sort yeah. of turned the corner for them. So oh, my goodness. Very well, fun I, shot. Yes, yeah. I definitely know who that is, and I definitely <laughs> know that magic serve. So how cool. What a great story. Well, Dave, tell, tell us where we can find your work. Well, um, a lot of my work, of course, is on my website. That's mm -hmm. www.daveblackphotography.com. And I have uh, um, uh, the workshop and the ranch there is a teaching page. People like to go to that. It's a you know teaching page blog and so forth, a lot of examples. But uh, I started a set of portfolios this past uh, year, and I add to the portfolio every month. A lot of portfolios on uh, photographers' websites don't change for a whole year. Uh -huh. I add three pictures in each of the portfolios every month. I think one of them's up to about 150 now, and I thought, I'm going to keep going until somebody says stop. Yeah. So there are a lot of pictures for people to look at. Um, and actually, something that's kind of of interest, uh, the book that I did a couple of years ago called The Way I See It, 
which is a teaching book. It's 50 of my favorite pictures and explains all the backstory on how they were done, all the camera oh, data, wow. all the gear used. Um, is going to come out, uh, it just came out now, actually, we're in September now, so it came out in uh, tablet form, iPad, so oh, you can get it for your iPad and uh, Kindle, Nook, whatever those oh, kind of things are, great. so yeah, so that's on there. Thanks, that's thanks. Exciting. Well, I yeah. definitely can't wait to get my hands on that. I'm a uh, sports girl, so. I know. Well, awesome, Dave, thank you so much. Great, thanks so much for having me.